So let's look at these examples of rationalising the denominator. So for number one, we've got 2 over root 2 plus 2. Okay. Now it doesn't matter in which order the terms in the denominator are. You just need to change the sign in the middle. So we're going to have root 2 minus 2 over root 2 minus 2 when we multiply through. So we're multiplying through by 1, remember? We're not changing the size of the fraction. And we're looking for a cancellation of the thirds in the denominator. So we've got 2 times root 2, 2 times minus 2 over root 2 times root 2, root 2 times minus 2, so minus 2 root 2, 2 times root 2, and 2 times minus 2. So we've got 2 root 2 minus 4 in the numerator, and the roots will cancel, leaving you with 2 take away 4, so minus 2 in the denominator. So we'd have minus root 2 plus 2 as the answer. So number 2, we're going to multiply top and bottom by 4 plus root 5 over 4 plus root 5, like that. So we're going to have 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times root 5 is 3 root 5. In the denominator, we've got 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times root 5 is 4 root 5. 4 times minus root 5 is minus 4 root 5. And then minus root 5 times root 5 is minus 5. So we've got 12 plus 3 root 5 in the numerator. And the denominator, the roots cancel, and we've got 16 take away 5 is 11. Okay? And that's as far as I would write that one. Okay, number 3. Uh, we've now got a root in the numerator as well. Okay? But we're still looking at the denominator. So we multiply top and bottom by 3 plus root 2. So we've got 1 times 3. 1 times root 2, 3 times root 2, and root 2 times root 2. In the denominator, we've got 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times root 2, 3 times minus root 2, and minus root 2 times root 2. So we have 3 plus 2, so 5 plus 4 root 2 in the, in the numerator. And in the denominator, we've got the roots cancelling. 9 take away 2 is 7. Okay, So 5 plus 4 root 2 over 7 is my answer. Last one, number 4. We've got 4 plus 2 root 3 over 3 plus 3 root 2. So I'm going to multiply that, top and bottom, by 3 minus 3 root 2 over 3 minus 3 root 2. So I've got 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times minus 3 root 2, so minus 12 root 2. We've got 2 root 3 times 3, so 6 root 3. And 2 root 3 times minus 3 root 2. So we definitely have a minus. 2 3 is a 6. Root 3 times root 2 is root 6. So 6 root 6. And in the denominator, we've got 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times minus 3 root 2, so minus 9 root 2. We've got 3 times 3 root 2, so plus 9 root 2. And 3 root 2 times minus 3 root 2, so take away. 3 3 is a 9, root 2 times root 2 is 2, 9 2 is 18, so take away 18. So we have 12, take away 12 root 2, plus 6 root 3, take away 6 root 6, all over. 
Well, the roots cancel as always, and we've got 9 take away 18, so minus 9. So, we can divide top and bottom by 3. Uh, if we go with minus 3, then we get rid of the negative in the denominator. Um, or we can stick that out the front. Swings and roundabouts. Um, I'll divide through by minus 3. Uh, so I'm going to get minus 4. Uh, plus 4 root 2, um, minus 2 root 3, plus 2 root 6, all over 3. Okay, and that's as simplified as I can possibly make this last problem.